Alright guys, what is going on? Welcome to another vlog. Today's vlog is, uh, it's titled, well, I, I don't actually know exactly what it's titled yet, but I do believe it's going to be something along the lines of, I need to quit cryptocurrency, or I, I'm quitting cryptocurrency. Okay. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up So the time has come for me to completely cash out. I want to trade in all of my cryptocurrency for Australian dollars. I want to take that Australian dollars and put it into my bank account. And I want to just forget completely about the cryptocurrency space for at least a month. Okay, I'm saying at least a month. Now, currently guys, I, you know, I've, I've been really really stuck as to what I want to do and this has been serious because you know I have I did invest a, a decent amount of money into cryptocurrency I had a little bit of uh, success trading um, it didn't take long for me to realize the fact that my success was pretty much just the same as everyone else's success it wasn't due to my you know extra knowledge or extra skill um, the times that I made money the whole entire market went up and that's the way it it, it does go. In the, in the times that I lost money, the whole entire market went down. So everyone lost money. You know, there have been outliers that will stay in the green when everything else is going down, but the, those are few and far between. And if you pick those, you know, um, to be honest, it's, you know, it's so volatile. A news story can can cause a, a coin to crash or, or grow exponentially. Um, and, and, to be honest, we have no control over the media. We have no control over other people's thoughts and opinions. Um, and to be honest, the market is affected far, far too much by that kind of thing for me, for me to invest my money and for me to be confident, you know, in the investment growing into the future. Now, personally, um, I have invested into Litecoin predominantly, and that was that was a, a decision I made after you know hours and hours of research um, I decided to put all of my chickens in one basket because you know I, I felt Litecoin was was undervalued I really did um, this was probably about a month ago now I hold 22 Litecoin and just before I do anything um, I'm gonna press record on the screen recorder and get this shit up uh, at the moment guys I hold my, my, guys. So my Litecoin on an exchange called CoinSpot it's an Australian exchange, it's the one that I used predominantly and the reason I really liked it is because I could have my Litecoin on here and basically, you know, I'd refresh this, What's so one Litecoin is $225.24 Australian at the moment, um, at the moment US it's $175.94 and if we go into the one minute chart we can see that it's actually, it's gone up probably about $2 in the last 5 or, five or 10 minutes. So to be honest guys, you know, it's, if we uh, zoom out to the one hour chart, so each of these candlesticks is one hour, all right? So basically we've got a day there, another day, another day, another day, another day. So, you know, it was up $215 and since probably about a week ago, it's been under 200 and it hasn't been able to make it uh, back over that. And, you know, if we go out even further, uh, this is, this is the, the, the overall trend at the moment so you know this is um, this is on the 18th of December we're now on the 27th of January and all that's happened is we've got lower lows and lower highs it's a lower low a lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low lower high and if we go in you know a little bit further we can see lower low lower high lower low lower high lower low and to be honest guys I do not feel as if we are going to break, you know, up. I feel like we're in a bear market right now. I feel like, I feel like if I leave it too much longer, I may regret it and it may really crash down to, you know, a hundred dollars per coin. I said in a previous video, if it got to 150 per coin, I still wouldn't sell. Well guys, to be honest, 
you know, you know what my life is up to at the moment. You know, I need this money, and I can't afford to lose it. And with that being said, you know that should really make up my mind for me because one thing is for sure in cryptocurrency, you only want to invest what you can afford to lose. And to be honest, guys, right now, right now, if I sell all of my 22.429 Litecoin into Australian dollars. I will receive $4,924.65. That is ex that's excluding the fee. So overall, you know, I wanted to get this value up to 5,000. I wanted to take $5,000 into my account. I wanted to take a, a, a clean flat five grand. And that's pretty much what I've been waiting for to happen. But as you can see over the last week, if we come out a little bit, um, the last time I purchased Litecoin was probably about at $200. I felt that, you know, it had come down from $270. Um, it had had a, a really steep drop down to $130, but it had popped right back up and it had made its way back over $200 and to about $215. From there, guys, it's just gone down, to be honest. It's gone, you know, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high, lower, low, lower, high. If it was an upwards trend, it'd be higher lows and higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. It's it's a downward trend, guys. It really is. And I feel like, you know, going forward, okay, I'm going to continue monitoring it, but without, you know, it's it's affected my life negatively having my money in cryptocurrency. The fact that it's so volatile, I just cannot you know, keep my I would say I can keep my emotions out of it, but like I said, guys, I'm, I'm thinking with my head now, not my heart. My heart says that Litecoin could still explode in 2018, but my head says that I need that $5,000 right now. So going forward, I am going to continue monitoring the market. If Litecoin goes down from here, I win. If it goes up, unfortunately, I lose, but... I'm out of this volatile as fuck cryptocurrency market and I feel good about it. So with that being said, with that being said, this is how the chart looks over the last 12 hours. We've had a high of $181. We've had a low of $171. At the moment, we're on a bit of an upward trend and we're sitting at $176.82, which equals the high that we've had over the last 12 hours. Now, if we go out a little bit further to pretty much a day and a half, we've had a high of 183. We've come right down to here. And as you can see, here we are at 176. So, you know what? Geez, I'd love for it to go up to 180, but it's not It's not going to today, I can tell. And like I said, we're in a, we're in a downward trend. I, have, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I can't predict this shit. No one can. And for that reason, I'm cashing out. <laughs> so let's do it. If I refresh that once more, 225.38. I'm going to get. I'm going to try and get you know the best, the best rate possible, of course. So we're at 176.85. That's that's pretty decent. 225.38. Oh, God. I've been here so many times before, guys. I've been right here, ready to cash out, and I just haven't done it because I've thought... The, th the thought of losing, you know, 10x on this investment. If, if you know, if Litecoin went to $1,000 or $2,000 over the next year, I would have lost out on... Forty or fifty thousand dollars. It's such a hard decision. Two hundred twenty-five dollars and forty-five cents. Sell all. Four thousand nine hundred five dollars. Confirm sell. Congratulations, continue. I can't believe I just did that. Withdraw AUD. I want to withdraw the whole amount. Yes, that's my bank account. Withdraw funds. 
Let's do it. Boom. Ah, oh, thank God for that. I cashed out, baby. It's all done. <laughs> it's all fucking done. So let's have a look at the full. Let's have a look at Litecoin. From I mean, this is from it hit its high on the 19th of uh, September, on the 19th of December at three hundred and sixty-six dollars US, three hundred and sixty-six bucks. From there, we've come down, 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 and we're sitting at one hundred and seventy-six. So that's literally lost over 50% of its value from the all-time high. Some people would say this is a great opportunity to buy. Some people would say, sell now before it goes down even further. I'd be interested to see or to hear what any of you guys think, but you guys know my opinions now. And one thing I did want to mention before I do go is that cryptocurrency has a way of really, really, you know, geez, if you, if you taste a little bit of success early on, it's so, so easy to become obsessed. And with obsession, um, with something like this, something that's on the computer, on your phone, you are glued to the screen far too much, guys, far too much. And that's taking attention away from, you know, my family, my friends, and, to be honest, at work as well, you know, my attention is not on what it needs to be on. It's on these fucking cryptocurrencies and whether I've lost my investment or whether I, and to be honest, guys, after the last three or four days when I've thought, yep, yeah, I'm definitely catch, cashing out when I haven't done it at night, I've woken up the next morning, like f feeling sick. I, I'm logging in thinking, fuck, has it gone down? Has it gone down? And then it's been around about 170, $175 for the last five days. And you know what? I'm thinking, Let's just do it. Let's, let's get this shit off my mind. And to be honest, it is off my mind. I feel better already. So with that said, I'm going to get the fuck out of that. Get out of that. Get out of that. And wait for my $4,900 to appear in my account. Um, I've withdrew from CoinSpot before, so there's really no issue. And um, yeah, there we go. So to be honest, I, with with the run up that happened that I experienced in the first you know week of January, as well as the run down that we've had recently, to be honest, guys, overall, I would have invested close to the amount that I just withdrew. You know, probably a little bit less. So let's say I invested all up, all up Australian dollars, four thousand five hundred in cryptocurrency. I've ridden the wave up, I've ridden the wave back down, and I've just withdrew 4,900 bucks. So, I'm happy. I'm happy. I haven't made any stupid mistakes. I haven't lost a huge amount of money. I never put in a huge amount of money. I know how the cryptocurrency world works now. I know how to trade. Um, you know, I know what an ICO is. I know how to do market analysis. And to be honest, you know, any any money that I may have lost through this is I'm going to see it as an investment. I haven't lost money, but if I did lose money, it would have been seen as an investment because I've learned so much through this last two months. You know, I've only been, I invested my first dollar into cryptocurrency back at the start of December and it's nearly at the end of January and I've taken my last dollar back out. So with that said, guys, have a great day. I'm going to call it there. I'll see you guys for another gyno recovery video very shortly, if not something else. In the meantime, have a great day. Peace. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up.